I tell her. If she does her homework, she can be whatever she chooses to be. She doesn't believe me. She says she'll stay stupid for the rest of her life while watching the Wizards of Waverly Place in a 42-inch HD paper-thin TV. My voice gets hung as my heart falls through the cracks of her broken esteem. Of course you're not stupid. Everyone thinks I am. Well, I'm everyone and I don't, so you're not. My mum does. That there is a full stop. I tried to pull it down into a comma. I'm sure she didn't mean, but like an overpooled spring, she recoils and buries her head back into her tent of opened umbrellas and heart-covered blankets. There is no use in telling her that an umbrella opened indoors is bad luck. She already knows. She just wishes for any luck. And the umbrella serves the same purpose as if she was stood in torrential rain. She can't help feeling damp, but she can block the attack. I follow her. Half in, half out. 50-50. It's the best that I can do due to divided loyalties and a grown-up's perspective. I'm an alien invading her way of living. See, she has everything. She wants for nothing. Threats and slams and tantrums have caved her parents in, so now her room is full of plastic vases and half-open cases displaced and replacing the nose. Stops. Enoughs. I am still facing the most privileged little girl I have ever met. But she knows the price of inanimation. So I tell her she is loved. She is funny and kind and beautiful and intelligent. And if there is one lesson she simply must revise for, it's life. She smiles. D, she says. You always say things that don't make sense, but make me smile. I smile back and say, sometimes life doesn't make sense straight away. But if you can remember the things that make you smile, then you can smile always. <laughs>